Transformations can be applied to both the frame and the image, the image alone, or just the frame. Here's how to do it. If I come over a graphic with an image inside, I click. I've selected both the frame and the image. Come over to a corner, press the Command or Control key, and then also press the Shift key to keep the frame and image proportional. I can drag, release, drag, just wait a moment, drag, and change both the image and the frame. This time, however, I'd like to change the image only inside the frame. If I click on the content grabber, again, I come over the corner. This time, I don't have to hold the command key or the control key. I just press, hold the shift key to constrain, and this time I can move the image inside the frame. One thing watch out for, if I do this, the content grabber may be off-center from the image. Press on the grabber and I can put the image inside the frame. Finally, I want to transform or move just the frame that holds the image, not, not the image inside. Here's the easiest way to do it. Click to select the frame. Now, the image is selected in there because you use the regular selection tool. Then switch to the direct selection tool. Rather than going over to the tools panel, I just hit the letter A. Now I have the direct selection tool, the white arrow, but I also have the frame selected with all its points. Press on any point and I can drag the frame without moving the image.